Welcome to this video from SH Millinery. I've been a milliner for over 10 years and I thought some tips and hints might be helpful when you're trying to purchase hats online, as many of my customers do. So we're going to look at choosing a hat for your face shape, getting a good fit, colour choices and wearing with style. You often hear people say hats don't suit me, but there is a style for everyone and it's often that people don't know what hats suit their face shape. So we're going to look at the good options for your face. If you have an oval shaped face, you can pretty much wear any style hat. The choices are endless. You can go from a small fascinator to a large floppy sun hat, whichever you prefer. This also goes for heart-shaped faces. Again, they can wear most styles of hat, including brimless hats, berets, fascinators. So again, a good face shape. If you've got a rectangular or oblong face, you need to shorten your outline somewhat. So wear large brims over the eye or at an angle. And again, floppy sun hats look good. Avoid small hats and fascinators. So with the square-shaped face, which I have, Again, angled hats look good. Berets, hatinators, and caps with large brims. A round face, that needs hats at an angle as well, over the eyes. Think fedora or cap, plus high crowns really suit this face shape. Getting the right fit. This is often something that people aren't too sure about. So we're going to talk about head sizes. Fascinators and similar headpieces come in one size, fixed with either a headband, a comb or a clip. But if you're buying a sized hat, do check. Current average size is 22 and a half inches or 57 centimetres. If buying vintage hats, you'll find they were much, much smaller, approximately 21 inches. Getting a right fit is important, so it's a good idea to measure your head. Using a soft tape measure, measure around the head, over the occipital bone at the back, and that's the bumpy bit at the rear base of the skull. Then measure over the eyes and just above the eyebrows. If you don't have a soft tape measure, then use string or ribbon, and then measure this against a ruler or other measuring device. To get a good fit with a hat, it should be comfortable. And if you've bought a sized hat, you should be able to fit your little finger between the brim and the forehead. And this will ensure comfort all day and avoid a red line across your forehead. Now we're going to talk about colour choices. This can be a minefield. Computer monitors will often show colours differently. And of course, remember, some pictures may be enhanced. What arrives in the post may not be the colour that you thought you'd ordered. Try and avoid looking for a colour match unless you're ordering a custom made hat because what one designer may call azure blue, another may call cerulean blue. So again, you can't be sure exactly what colour will arrive. Think about instead opting for a complementary colour or a toning colour choice, which you can carry across in all of your accessories. Now this is the colour wheel. Complementary colours are those that are opposite each other on the colour wheel. So opposite red would be green, for example. Toning colours are those very close to the colour and also graduated down towards the centre of the wheel. It's a good idea to think closely about colours before you make a choice. This shows toning colours, a lilac fascinator with toning dresses. And this shows complementary, using a colour totally opposite on the colour wheel. This is a great way of choosing a good colour that you can then choose shoes, handbag, earrings, etc. to match in. Now wearing with style, that's the thing. You may wonder how you're going to fix it in place. When wearing a fascinator or similar mounted on a comb, the best way to fix in place is to use two Kirby grips, 
placing the hair to form a cross and push the comb under these and then the fascinator will stay secure all day. When wearing a hat or fascinator with an elastic fixing, the elastic should go around the back of the head to the nape and underneath the hair. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I hope the hints were helpful. But if you have any questions, please do ask.